welcome my guys here is another topic that is quite interesting and i always mix my blogging with politics because that's exactly the root of everything we are undertaking currently recently i watched one of the american congressman being interviewed by a prominent journalist in america and he openly stated about the war in ukraine is all about the minerals worth 10 to 12 trillion us dollars that cannot be given to china or russians at a peaceful negotiation so this clearly states the defense contractors the military contractors and the saboteurs and the political heavyweights in american politics they are behind what is happening in ukraine even if they increase the budget of war and the military supply and military aid to ukraine they know there's no way it can suppress a trillion dollar so they bet maybe a trillion dollar to um ukraine recovery they get access to 12 trillion us dollar worth of minerals and arable farm in is ukraine the most contested area but 70 percent of these minerals they are in the ruhansk and donbask region and donetsk region and uh, odessa that area of uh, Crimea. So the Russians are well informed about grabbing the land and making sure they secure it before the ceasefire is announced. If a congressman can go to the media as a public figure and lecturers state that their interest is to control the mineral in Ukraine, which I do believe is the main agenda America is fighting this war, then Russians will not let it go. They will not be exhausted, and Americans will not be exhausted, so it's a start off. Eventually, we'll end up with Third World War, because two mighty military powers, superpowers, when they engage to that escalation level, definitely there must be a winner and there must be a loser. And both of them, they are nuclear armed. America in Second World War went to realize the only way to win this war was to drop the atomic bomb in Hiroshima. And now, since then, it created what you call the New World Order. Since then, we have been an American influence up to date. Now, multipolar world said no, the southern bloc economy that involves the developing world said no. And a decade ago, they established economic forum and started creating their own hegemony against Americans. What is it? It's a break economic block. If you look at the country that are forming breaks, they have sufficient energy supply, stockpiles, and manufacturing, and uh, they have sizable middle class population, and they are developing. This is telling you future is bright because you will not have to buy or to convert your local currency to one of their current countries currency maybe the one that has the highest gdp so that you can trade america will not let this situation go unanswered and the second round of sanction is tight because it's all about the banking sector that is aiding the war machine in russia what they're forgetting is Russia is an oil-rich country. And Russia, it's sufficient with energy supply. It has nuclear energy production, and uh, it has nuclear capacity to produce nuclear warheads. And military technology is in short, it is not borrowing. If it is borrowing weapons to fight, we can say it will run out of the stock. But now, it is manufacturing, meaning the war can be infinite. It doesn't care. And that is exactly what is happening. Mobilizing more than 700 soldiers to create the third front, that's, that's awesome manpower. And America is definitely trying to see what Europe will do at a far distance. Are we going to be subjected to this standoff? For how long? Because Africa is not talking about anything, is not supplying any policy contribution, is not trying to 
negotiate on anything, it is starting on neutrality. But a few psychophants like Kenyan presidents are trying to um, try to um, pull the interest of the West. For how long that's a question? Everyone is asking because the way it is planned, we are no longer swearing our economic allegiance and political allegiance to the Western anymore. We are far right groups and uh, the wave of change and transition is hitting the standoff at an astronomical rate and uh, I do believe if we continue like this, West is not going to keep on uttering political dangerous words like uh, the ones that have been uttered by a US congressman clearly saying we are at war because we want the minerals. We are at war because we don't want Russia and China to take uh, 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 minerals worth more than 10 trillion US dollars. When this thing cracks my mind, it shows me we have to rule with the iron fist and we have to police the world in order to survive, that is capitalism. Will it entrench itself to the level whereby Russia realized it is too much and you cannot take Ukraine? you cannot put in Ukraine, Ukraine. When um, Russia takes submarines to Cuba, it's a big move and it shows the mightiness and it doesn't fear anybody. In return, Americans sent their nuclear armed submarines to Guantanamo Bay. Why are these Cold War times coming back? Because of multipolar states? We have freedom to choose where we want to swear allegiance to. And we cannot be maimed or puppeted like marionette in order for us to survive. Ordinary people are not understanding the agenda of the globalist. You control the resources and you control the flow and the vibe of governance worldwide. Putin, uh, what his strategy is in Ukraine, it is to say no to polarized world and he wants the American hegemony to realize it is no longer a superpower and it must negotiate with other allies and come to a conclusion to create what he really expects a fair playing ground for each and every economy because right now Russia doesn't need anything from the West because they have everything they want. They have military power, they have capacity to do aviation, they have capacity to do semiconductors, they have capacity to do agriculture, energy production, nuclear and everything without needing waste. This is it. When a country is self-sufficient, it will bypass all those 16 to 20,000 sanctions and keep on moving the economy vibrantly and lacks nothing because you have a middle class and you have a middle class man for medium, small medium enterprises companies that are aggressive when it comes to production and don't forget it is next to China. You did wrong, America, and you need to watch. Anyway, hit that subscription button. I want to hear what is your comment concerning this because I was astonished by the rhetoric political statement produced by a sitting congressman recently the interest of Americans in Ukraine is worth 10 trillion to 12 trillion dollar minerals that we cannot let China and Russians take. American hegemony is crumbling. We ditch the dollar.